right, all right, all right. Welcome to Fabled Hunters. I'm Yanji. I'm Saint. And uh, today is the release of Everfest, and we're not we're gonna be open Crucible of War. Cause uh, we didn't get our Everfest yet. Womp 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 womp. But we do want to talk about that one box we opened. Yeah. It turns out it's a pretty fire box, right? I've been hearing people talk. They've seen people open like five, six boxes, and they didn't get like. Whoa like a bravo or like a hero or something yeah remember i i had said that i thought it was like it was like it seems like there's a lot i thought it was actually just par for the course yeah, yeah. but um yeah there was a commenter saying that he saw nine box openings and in the nine box openings not one person opened an extended art or something like that mm. that's just what they said i i didn't watch all the box openings okay yeah it was quite an experience and i think we're just uh taking a step back and uh you know trying to experience the original uh, iteration of the pre-Everfest uh, set, Crucible of War. And we want to review, we want to talk about Everfest, talk about our thoughts, mm -hmm. as well as open some stuff. Yeah. Right? Dig in. Do you want to do the honors? You go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to, I guess, like start off by asking you uh, what you thought of supplemental sets in general. So... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Magic had its first supplemental set, Arabian Nights. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, uh, I think I opened three packs of that in my lifetime. Three packs? Yes. Okay. Like, three ever. And I'm I'm old, so... Yeah. yeah. They moved away from the model, but then for Flesh and Blood, it seems like, uh, because of how the game is structured, mm -hmm. um, supplemental sets are actually pretty exciting, because rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Right, I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think it works pretty well, because... Unlike like the standard booster draft slots, so booster draft boxes, they have to design those for like like draft play, like limited. Mm -hmm. So you can only have like three or four heroes. Yeah. And I think that one of the things is that if you are like a diehard like warrior player, for example. Yeah. And you open like Tales of Art doesn't really have anything for you. Whoa! Ooh, uh, starting off. Starting something. off with a gold foil. Yes, and a Kayo. Wow. Okay, Tales of Ari, you said Warrior doesn't have that much for you, you were saying? Yeah, yeah, like, like uh, but if you have a supplemental set, it mm -hmm. gives every class, like, everybody something to look forward to, to getting, to, like, uh, make their deck a little bit better, or, like, make their deck a little bit differently. So I wanted to see, like, what you thought of supplemental sets. Well, I think supplemental sets include everybody, and they're fun and they're just surprising. See, one of the things that you mentioned, you said that all the heroes are all full arts. And for example, if we were opening Everfest, this would probably be a Bravo or a Icelander or mm -hmm. a Valda or a Genius. Genius? Genius? What you need? That guy. <laughs> yeah. So that's what it would feel like. And this is very, very similar. See, I, I didn't know that this would be a consistent theme in uh, Fab Product, but um, yeah, even the to be. even the tokens, like the to like the tokens that you just get in every like pack of Tales of Aria or whatever, mm -hmm. they're very big on their hero art. I think. Yeah. So anytime that you open like a, like a hero, it's always like that extended. I think treatment. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just get. Two tokens, <laughs> Four, right? We're talking tokens. about tokens, right? Yeah. Tokens right here in the Dawnblade. Yep. Uh, ooh. Cash, well, in. cash in. Yeah, this is, ooh. And a Majestic. See, this is just so much fun. Even this correlates to um, Everfest because... Some, some people are speculating on cash in now because Everfest is like the first set now you get, get some silver tokens. Mm -hmm. So maybe this card will be good. Yeah, now that you get silvers, you could draw two cards much more easily yeah right and then we got an m as well crap we're really quickly moving out of room there we go all right you want to do a little bit of opening your entry yeah sure how do you feel about the the whole like carnival slot um i think i said it when we were opening that the carnival slot kind of felt like like a it, it was a generic slot it is a generic slot and yeah. it's it kind of includes everybody it kind of uh is that all-inclusive slot i don't think we'll Sleeve it. Yeah, high speed impact. Modern skies. Okay. One thing that uh, that I noticed um, when I was looking at other people opening is that, and I mentioned this when we were opening our box, is mm -hmm. that it's like uh, there's so many, like there's so many generics, like so many different potions, amulets, and stuff mm -hmm. that it's actually pretty hard to get like the specific one or or like 
uh, another way to say it, it's pretty hard to get like uh, multiple copies of any one generic card. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. And, Especially in rare, right? Yeah, yeah. but then adding that and adding to the mix, there's also full art treatments mm -hmm. for all of those cards. And what do you think about as like a collector <clears throat> having like all of these different, um, I guess like versions? Okay, well, a as a collector, I'm excited yet I'm dreading um, the thought of having to open up that many boxes yeah. to get one of every full art or extended art or alt art if they exist. I don't think alt arts have come out yet, right? They haven't been spoiled yet. Or not, yeah, not that we know of. Not that we know of, yeah. So my first thought is whatever I bought, I probably need to buy like 3X. So go out there and <laughs> buy a whole bunch of Everfest, everybody. But um, not only that, another majestic. Yep, another majestic. Not only that, whatever we bought, I'm gonna have to open up a whole lot of it. It seems like, because I'll want to keep chasing those cards. Just like an Aria, I wanted to chase down the perfect core shim. I wanted to chase down multiple copies of Channel Lake Frigid. Mm -hmm. Now it's making me feel like I want, I I need to get a <laughs> copy of everything, or else it won't feel complete. Ooh. Yeah, and even the even the tokens, like this Rune Champ token, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's it's also uh, recurs in Everfest. Right? Yeah, yeah, like you can uh, you can get it's like the only place that you can get like a rainbow foil, like spectral shield, spectral shield. So far, we pulled that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm nice looking forward pull. to yeah pulling the the spectral shields, soul shackle not so much because I I don't. Play you're not, you're not a big chain. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a I'm a I'm a light side person. Okay. Tarinthe Bay, Prism, they're all, you know, Team Solana, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah. So yeah. I'm more of a Team Solana guy. Okay. Oh, well, how do you feel about the fact that there Ooh, is a foil majestic. Yeah. How do you feel about the fact that there's so many different cold foils? Like each potion that's like different has like its own cold foil. Like we pulled one, but like I think there's like 20 something different potions. I heard there was even, well, 20 something potions, but there's yeah, probably 30, 30 plus cold foils in the set. Yeah, yeah. But then you you think about it, like we just pulled a cold foil, it was a sledge of Anvilheim. There's probably like 15 weapons uh -huh. in Crucible, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's very similar. Now instead of weapons, we're getting items and um, potions, right? Yeah, which one do you prefer? Um, I don't know. I, I didn't fancy these uh, to be that playable. Is that the foil? That's the foil. That's the foil. Yeah, we. I didn't fancy these to be that playable. These weapons. I've never. Have you seen a weapon actually Sledge, played? Sledge, Sledge is played. Sledge, uh, Centauri sabers, and mandible claws. All. Oh, I've seen mandible claw. I've yeah. eaten a couple mandible claws before. <laughs> yeah, they do the blood rush spell and then they claw claw. Claw claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like Wolverine. Uh, I think. I think they're all playable. I think the. I think the potions, at least like for competitive play, mm -hmm. aren't that good overall, but they are pretty interesting because I think that there might be some like for later like PVE like for PVE scenarios mm -hmm. or things like that. It's like you got you, you you have to like have like a rounded party, right? You can't and of not course. everybody's like a fighter. You yep. gotta have like a, a guy who's like playing support. They bring on the potions. There's gonna be an alchemist. There definitely is gonna be an alchemist one day. Well, Cav Dane is like the potions guy, right? Really? Isn't he? He's a merchant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought I, I just know I I haven't even looked at the list, but I know that somebody was playing Cav Dane, and his deck was just like all potions. Really? It was like the potion of strength and stuff. But how was he gonna eventually kill somebody then? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you could make support classes and whatnot. And yeah. Now we're, we're now we're going down the rabbit hole of the whole PVE idea, which still isn't out. But yeah, the the more you look at it, the more it's like they're building towards it, right? Yeah, yeah. There's when you first when you first up. mentioned it, mm -hmm. uh, I think we we did a video a while ago. Yeah. Or either that, or like you told me off off camera, you're like, oh, like don't you see like they're the progression they're building up to to like this PVE thing? Yeah. And then I was at the time I didn't really see it, mm -hmm. but now that they have like all of these these potions, these heroes, mm -hmm. uh, these I uh, oh the one of the guardian cards in Everfest. Fest. Yeah. The way that that's templated, it's like an instant. Mm -hmm. And the LSS had originally teased it as the, there's a card that lets you protect your allies. Yep. And in Flesh and Blood, the only ally cards are mm -hmm. like the the Shadow Heroes, like Blasmafed and and Urser. Yep. Yep. Are yep. allies. Yep. 
But if you like take it the other way, it's like you can protect somebody in your party, like they're gonna take damage. You could remove that damage. Be like a knight in like an RPG game and go block yeah, for exactly. one of your uh, one of your teammates, one of your party mates. Yeah, so I think a lot of Everfest is kind of like setting the grounds. Um, it would be pretty interesting to see how the product ages, I think. Mm -hmm. Because I think if you're like purely a competitive player, mm -hmm. there 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 are uh, there are a lot of cards in Everfest that are good for competitive play, but then there's, there's also a lot of cards that aren't as like ooh, ooh. obvious for competitive play. You know what I mean? This guy keeps coming back. He's so cool. He's in Everfest as well, right? Yeah, yeah. He's pulverized in the guy. Pulverized. He's pulverized guy. Yeah. yeah. And then so I think that there's like a lot of stuff that they're kind of like. They're, they're they're planting the seeds. Um, yeah, they're they're prepping because this is a everybody set. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody. Like you said, monarch. There is just the four classes, right? Yeah. And it felt like everybody else was left out. And then uh, TOA, it mm -hmm. felt like there's only the three. It was like even less choice. And yeah, I yeah. felt like they're leaving out some people because <laughs> there was the ranger, there was the guardian, there was the rune blade. There's rune blade in every set. Almost, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like there's always a rune blade. Yeah, now there's like guardians and every set. It's just guardian, guardians and rune blades. Guardians like, versus rune blades. You, you've seen like that movie. It's like uh, what was it like? Cow, like cowboys versus aliens? aliens versus cowboys. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just someone should like make a Photoshop. It's rune <laughs> blades versus guardians. There you go. That's a meme. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll sleeve a rare, foil rare. Sorry, I, I like derailed the conversation a little bit. All good. Cowboys and aliens with uh, rune blades and guardians. That's that should be a meme. We should definitely do that. So, somebody, somebody out there who has good Photoshop skills. Yeah, good Photoshop. Out for blood. Out for blood. Just a, just a regular foil. Let's do that. Genji, what what are your thoughts? You're you're always chomping at the bit to study the meta and see what what is oh, going to give you an edge. Like I'm sure you've got plenty. So yeah, what? dude. There there's Let a me lot know. of cards that are pretty interesting. Like um, there's the the one generic card's called even bigger than that. The Rudy card. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That card, I think, is, like, pretty sick. Ooh, Remorseless. Remorseless. Uh, that card, I think, is pretty sick because it's, like, really good for uh, heroes like Katsu. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's there's just, like, a lot of Majestics, I think, in the set that, <clears throat> what's it called, that, that put you into, like, un, uncharted uh, play patterns. Okay. So, uh, remember, like, that um, Majestic that we opened, Shatter, and it's, like, a Dorinthia card. It's like if if Hell you, yeah, it is. if you if you would do damage, you can like destroy one of their equipments instead. Yeah, like that card sets up like a fifty fifty with like glint the quicksilver. So it's like oh, you block a card from their hand. If you have a glint the quicksilver, then mm -hmm. you just like let me get a go again for free. I get to draw a card. Okay. If you don't block it, I just blow up your equipment. You know what I mean? It just sets up like a yeah, like a kind of like and and that was pick like, your poison type of situation. Yeah, and that was never. And you lose. Yeah, yeah, that was never. That was never like a thing before Everfest. So I think that the set in general is pretty interesting for that reason. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot of oh, like Guardian gets that new uh, card that somebody spoiled. It was, uh, I think it's called Imposing Vantage. It lets you, like, tutor your deck for, like, an aura. Okay. And put it into play. I don't know. There's just, like, a lot of things that, um, I think expand the game out in a way that I... Shout out to SBS. Forget about the Metacarpus node. <laughs> SBS. Foil. So awesome. <laughs> Hold on. She, she needs a sleeve. No love for the Kano players. <laughs> no, no, no love for the node. SBS. Common foil. Super sexy. <laughs> I still love that playmat. That's still my favorite playmat. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, sorry to sorry to interrupt. No, no, we got no. an SBS. Yeah, it's just like there. There's a lot. There's a lot more play patterns, and I think it like it opened the game up. I think for me, originally I I thought that their design space was kind of limited. Okay. But now I see that they're like there's a lot of like cool things that they can that they can do. Of course. Yeah. And a lot more interactions and a lot more. Things you can do when you uh, include a party, right? We've got multiple party members later on. Yeah. Dude, I, I've been saying this, that I am just, like, waiting for PvE. Honestly, it's, like, the... Like, for me, that's, like, that's that's when I'm all in on Flesh and Blood. Yeah, that's not, when stuff gets really fun. Yeah, not necessarily for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's when I think I can see, like, Flesh and Blood reach its potential. Yep, yep. As, like, a game. If it can blow up and, like, won't only appeal to the spikiest players like yeah, the spikes yeah. that just all they want to do is win and look up net deck decks and whatnot like i would be home i would brew up like either an alchemist or a healer or some sort of um 
priest type of class, be okay. like, how can I better serve the team as a unit? Yeah. Because a lot of people don't, like I was talking to Para 9 about this, a lot of people don't really appreciate the healing classes, and that was always my jam, because it's like, hey, um, a good healer will let you, like, venture into a dungeon or handle a quest that's, yeah. like, much higher level, yeah. whereas a bad healer, even if you have the most, the strongest DPS classes, they could do the damage, but if you're not cognizant of the team support, the team dynamic, yeah, yeah. then your whole team's gonna drop, yeah. so, yeah, really looking forward to that. I I was browsing and I see that what's being produced right now. There's, I didn't know that. G, did you know that you know G4 TV? Yeah, yeah. So G4 TV. I didn't know that they still existed at the time. Like now, another yellow SBS. What? <laughs> We've got two. I didn't know that they, treasure. I didn't know that they still existed, but they. I I was watching. They they stream on like YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, and they. Uh, that's how Olivia Munn got her start. Yeah, yeah. And then she's a talentless actress, but I mean, she looked. That's pretty harsh. So, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's just hey, I'm entitled to my opinion. Oh, uh, Mangle, there we go. <laughs> I would say that's pretty harsh. <laughs> hey, I'm talking about her talent. Is that uh, no, no, is no, that, no, is that no, being... no? I mean, you can, you can, yeah, you can have. Your... I don't think she has much talent. Have you seen any of the X Men where she's Psylocke? Come on now. <laughs> no, I can't say that I have. Okay. I, I don't have. I don't have anything to base it off of. Oh, I can okay. neither confirm, firm, nor deny. Ooh, Meta, oh, wait, absor adjusted. absorption dome. I, I was thinking metacarpus or something. Absorption dome. Two. We got two. This is a good box. But they, they're doing like uh, they're doing like D and D, uh, and I think like PVE, like Flesh and Blood, maybe could be like a little bit of like D and D. Okay, that uh, that's exactly what it's supposed to be with cards. It's D and D with cards, and you go in as <laughs> as Katsu the ninja, and you go in there, get some quick damage, whittle down the boss, get in, get out, you know. Maybe Durantha Bay is um, going and attacking with her sword and, you know, sticking whatever monster with the pointy end. And then, I don't think Bravo's the, the party type of guardian. He's like the life of the party, or the, the showstopper, yeah, but I would say Oldham would yeah. be like that super tank. He'd be like, you know, you could do whatever. I've got I can even double shield, I can do whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like block all the damage and put cards on top of my library and then the team like doesn't doesn't get hit and then you've got your range characters. Like I could see all those interactions. I could see people playing landmarks and maybe if a landmark gets destroyed there's a backup landmark. Mm -mm. First the library, then the tree, you know, and then whatever other landmarks come up, and then throwing a bunch of potions. Like I'd love to do that rather than I'm just gonna punch your face in, or you're gonna punch my face in. Oh, yeah. I mean, the game is fun and it's great PvP, yeah. but the awesome stories that could come out, like instead of going to the bar, yeah. I just went to my LGS and we were at, you know, we were killing the Demon King or something like that. Yeah. And man, I, I went there three times. This time I went in a party of four, that time I went in a party of six. Then there was like a regional event. It's, you know, it's, it's gonna be- a lot of potential. Absolutely. It's, it, the potential is limitless, and I really look forward to it. And it just it just feels like during these sets, like during Crew, I think there's Gorganian Tome. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, Coax of Commotion. Oh, yeah, yeah. The CAC. Rudy calls it the CAC. You just knew that there was going to be another layer of play. And now, like, there's more breadcrumbs. There's a trail of growing breadcrumbs until they release that set. And then it's like... I'm hoping it's yeah? their mystery Q2 product. Q2 of yeah. this year? Yeah. I, I hope so. I, I hope it's ready. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We will. We'll see what it is. We will. So just to review, let's uh, see how we did in this box. It was a little little calm after pack one, right? Yeah. But uh, we've got one gear, the node, then mangle, remorseless, righteous cleansing, feign death, and unified decree. That's definitely, only... Definitely not the hard hard hitters, I would say, for the majestic yeah. that, that you would want to get. Right? Uh, remorseless, I think, might still be pretty valuable. I like these two just for the art. Mm. Right? And then feign death is... You know what? Yep. Uh, it reminds me. You know Kale McCreeth? Of course! He says that he plays one copy of Mangle in all his decks, and people ask him why. He's like, oh, just because I like the art. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, he could play whatever. He's the most prolific Guardian player on the planet, yeah, I think, yeah, right? Yeah. So, Kale can do whatever the heck he wants and still win, right? Yeah, he's a, a fresh off top top eight, top yeah. four at the New Zealand Nationals. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, he, he's still doing it. He's still holding it down. And we've got Absorption Dome, one for the mech, 
Rune Blood Barrier, one for the Rune Blade. Rune Blade's got enough. And, uh, no, no, yeah. don't say that. I want more. more you want more Rune Blade? More Rune Blade? I'm a, more I'm a, more I'm a, Guardian? I'm a Viserai. Really? Uh, yeah, I like Viserai. Okay, and the Sledge. And this was actually. How's that one look? Yeah, it's really nice. This, the corners. Thank God we're, we're having Wave 2 Crucible product. The corners are beautiful. The centering is nice, except for this diamond cut oh, over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, still glad to open the product. Looking forward to receiving our uh, cases of Everfest. And uh, yeah, we'll be sharing that with uh, the community, of course. Yeah, good luck to everybody who's opening Everfest today. Yep. Hopefully you get the cards that you want. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you uh, liked our opening. Hope you liked the whole topical format of everything. Like, comment, and subscribe. And twiddle the notification button. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye.